Oh, good evening. Storm Garrus is well underway. We're getting some very heavy gusts here. So what I've done, um, I've got dressed up in all my storm gear and I've come out and I've cut down um, about two thirds of, um, of the Budlia because it was, just, it, was going to, it was just going to snap either that or just completely fall over and it is in two um, tyres there you know so it was very unstable so then I thought I'd also cut back all the Budlia there I mean, it has to be cut back usually this time of the year anyway, but I didn't want it to get damaged in the storm. The storm is raging. You can see the colour of the sky. It's gone very dark. The storm is absolutely raging. So I've taken quite a massive amount of um, Budlier off. You can see. You can see how dark the sky is over there. Very dark. So I'll dispose of this tomorrow. I'll put it in a big pile somewhere. There's some more in there. And a uh, massive amount of Budlia here as well. So I've just lit, um, I've lit the Kelly kettle and uh, hoping to get myself a cup of tea. I just need to blow into that a little bit. that's it now. It's so stormy, it's even sort of blowing out the fire. It's crazy. There we go. I think that's it going now. So I'll just keep the camera running for another few minutes until the next big gust hits. I mean, it's fairly sheltered here. I tried to drive into town earlier, but two big trees had come down in Leitrim village, and so the roadway was blocked. I had to take a, a detour for about, about four or five miles. There were very few people in town, obviously, because when the storm is this bad, and it's just settled now, Look at that, lovely and calm. I fear there's another gust on its way. So I've got lots of fuel from the barn. I'm preparing now just to settle in for the evening. I've put lots of water into the Kelly cattle, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer that into the thermos flask. So I'll have enough hot water, you know, boiling water to make tea. So... That's, that really is going now, isn't it? <laughs> That's what's called a fierce flame. Jack is staying very close by my side. He gets a wee bit nervous during storms. So he just stays close by me. If I go out, he'll follow me out. He's very loyal. Here it's starting to simmer.
Here's a big gust coming now. See just how violent the storm is. I'm hoping that everything will stay stay safe. For old birds, a bit, of a bit of a time of it tonight, just trying to stay fixed onto the branches as they roost. I've done everything I can just to safeguard the plants and the trees. The tunnel is well locked up and um, everything's packed away safe. And there's the kettle starting to boil. So blessings to you all. <laughs>